Hey Taurus, I hope you all are doing well. Uh, this is going to be a general reading for your next surprise. Any information you need, you can find it down below in the description box. I do have personals open right now. Um, you guys can also check me out on Patreon if you'd like, okay? Okay, so... Your overall energy here is the Five of Pentacles, okay? So this can be a card of material trouble, okay? It doesn't mean that you're in material trouble or that, that or that that's your next surprise. It could mean that there's something that you've gone through here and there's a person walking with you through this. It can be a card of teamwork, working together, because you've got two people here in the card. It can also be a card of just feeling really outside of yourself or feeling out of the normal, feeling out of the ordinary, okay? Some of you could have Mercury and Taurus. You have the Six of Pentacles right here. So I feel like that does balance out, but let's see what's going on with that Six of Pentacles. That's also a card of planting seeds, okay? All right, what's going on with the Six of Pentacles for Taurus? You could be a Taurus or a Libra moon. What's going on with the Six of Pentacles? You might have Jupiter and Pisces or Mars and Aries. Okay, yeah, exactly. I mean, if you have been in a space of material trouble, you're going to come out of that here very soon, okay? But it takes, like, really bossing up here, Taurus, like, really bossing up. Um... Because that King of Swords is here. That's a card of like mastering something. But it's like you're really having to get down to business with something. You've been slow moving on. I feel like that's why the Knight of Pentacles is here. It's like if you've just been dragging your feet with something. Procrastinating. Like putting it off. Like first of all ask yourself if there's any passion. Like true passion there for that. It can happen when you have true passion. It can. But you know most of the time no. So it's like you really want to be doing that. If you have to drag your feet to, to get it done. Right? So Because it feels money related. It feels like it's something of your own. Something that you're trying to build or learn. Um, you have justice here. So yeah, I mean, if that is something you have true passion for, absolutely. This is going to bring you so much stability. This is just the best. This is just the best here, Taurus. you got the Ten of Pentacles. you got the Ten of Cups. Star card on the bottom, your destiny. Justice, what's meant for you. Ten of Pentacles, best money card in the deck. Ten of Cups. It's also a card of your own personal wish fulfillment. However you define happiness, that's what the Ten of Cups is, okay? But it's like you really have to buckle down here, all right? Plant those seeds and, and just keep going with it. Keep going with it. Don't give up on it. You got the Nine of Cups showing up next. What's going on with that? Yes, that is just amazing, okay? What's going on with that Nine of Cups? You're getting a lot of support here too, okay? I feel like this is just so out of the ordinary for you, you know? And I think that's why the Five of Pentacles is your overall energy is because you've had people who have walked with you through the storm here, okay? What else is going on here for Taurus? Seven of Cups. New avenues of income, okay? Five of Cups. What's that about? Okay, Six of Cups, Recovery, yeah. All of the fives, you guys keep having sixes uh, turn around there, you know? And now you have the Seven of Wands. You got two sevens here, Evaluation, Truth-Seeking kind of energy, um, Intuitive kind of energy. You could be a Life Path Seven, but it's like you're really trying to get to the bottom of something here. I think you're analyzing yourself a lot as well. But that Nine of Pentacles um, energy there and the Nine of Cups, it's like you have a lot of support. Page of Cups, I feel that you're getting some really good news. Like this could be something that makes you very emotional because I think you've struggled for a long time. With the Five of Cups energy, you've struggled for a long time. And Six of Cups, the universe is delivering. They're handing something to you here in that card, okay? It's almost like you're reluctant to take it because it feels like it's too good to be true. You could be t uh, passing a test of some sort, okay? Or you're just doing something that stands out. It's like maybe others have not done this before, okay? Maybe others have not done this before or they've not done it the way that you are doing it, okay? Um, so, wow. I mean, my goodness, you're getting a lot of support here, okay? Coming out of trouble in, at least emotionally and financially. You have the two of wands right here. Mars and Aries. Spiritually as well, technically, you know, with that uh, Five of Pentacles being your overall energy, they're outside of the cathedral that the hair font is located in, which is a card of lessons. It's also your card, okay? So yeah, just feeling really outside of yourself, but I think that's about to change, um, you know, and I think that the reason you feel outside of yourself is because, like, the, the old you is not going to exist for very much longer, you know? It's like you're, you're finding... You're, you're finding the new you, okay? Some of you, there could be a child on the way, all right? Five of Wands. Somebody could have Saturn and Leo. 
Six of Wands, again, moving from a, another five to a six. Another five to a six. So the fives are chaos, conflict, change. The sixes are like where peace, harmony, and balance are restored, okay? They're also an energy of like generosity, giving, kindness, compassion, you know? So I really do feel like the universe is rewarding you for taking the lead on things. Knight of Swords, Gemini energy, whatever ideas you're carrying out here, yeah, they're, um, you know, they're delivering because you made a promise to them, you know, like you, like I'm going to work towards this and this is what I'm going to get for doing that and they're like, okay, you know, <laughs> that's what's happening here. Uh, you're having faith in yourself, okay? And you stick it out, Page of Swords, you could be a student, okay, or you could just, like, there could just be a lot that you're learning at this point in time, there's a lot of mental energy here, lots of ideas, lots of passions up against one another, um, you have the Page of Wands right here, could be bouncing back and forth around to uh, different ideas here, Page of Wands can sometimes warn against empty kicks, like, uh, you start so many things and you don't finish them, but I think that you are sticking to it, yep, King of Pentacles, you're having discipline, um, when it comes to these things, that's not to say that you're only going to do one thing here, Taurus, but it's like you're, you're clear about how much work you're putting where, when you're putting it there, you know, and I feel like the universe is really rewarding you for that. So I love that for you, okay? Um, I hope you'll watch out for your other signs, Taurus, but if this is where we part, thank you for watching and supporting me this far, and you all enjoy your month. Bye.